Simon, welcome to Barnet. It's great to have you here. It's been a, a strange couple of days, but you must be pleased to, to have arrived. Yeah, obviously uh, something that's been bubbling along in the background for a while and uh, yeah, to finally get over the line and sort it out was, uh, was a relief for everyone, I think. So, yeah, come in yesterday and uh, met everyone and got shown around a fantastic facility. So, uh, yeah, really pleased to be here and uh, look forward to getting to work. What attracted you to the role? Obviously, it's been a difficult season for the club this year. Is it the case of trying to rebuild in the project that is ahead and hopefully moving on up the division? Yeah, hopefully. You know, as I say, I think this year's been nothing you know, short of terrible for everyone involved with the club. So uh, it's something that we've 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 got to come into and uh, and be a part of. So we look to change that quickly. You know, with 13 games to go. We uh, we hope to pick some some results up and, and bed in some of the ideas that we've got, um, and and that starts Saturday at Maidenhead, so that'd be important. But you know, look at the facility, fantastic facility here. Um, you know, a football league facility certainly, um, and that's what we're going to be aiming to do o over the period of time. You know, come in and you know this year's going to be about uh, rebuilding some confidence in the boys that are here, um, and then obviously attacking next season with with a uh, with a clean slate mentally and, and and looking to move forward. That was gonna be my next question. I guess with the way the league is with the no relegation, it's certainly not a free hit because you want to go out and make the club as proud the fans as proud as possible. But is it about that long term view that we start next season and we give it a real go? Absolutely, but next season starts yesterday. You know, we got a, this season, the end of it certainly becomes a part of next and they'll go in together. So it's about putting our ideas into people and then putting what we expect into them and, and seeing the response we get. You know, we had a light session today with um, with all the games, just a two day recovery. So second day of that today, but just put some little pictures in their ideas, in their mind of, of what, I, what I expect from them and, and just sort of trying to guide them. I've been brought in really you know, to help this group, to help rebuild this group and, and try and get some wins but going forward and again hopefully to rebuild the club a little bit and, and the connection with the fans and everything that goes with that and, and to be really positive moving into next season but to say that starts now we can go in and hopefully with a little bit better feeling than we have at the moment. Winning obviously breeds confidence, there's no doubt about that. If we can build a bit of momentum, just try and have a bit of a feel-good end to the campaign, that certainly isn't going to hurt when we come back. For certainly next year. not. No, uh, I mean I've I've given the lads a target of what I expect from them uh, short term, so we'll be we'll be looking to make inroads into that in our first game on Saturday. Um, yeah, and as I say, winning games is all that breeds confidence and. You know, it's about being on the training ground, putting good work into them, you know, getting the buy-in from the players uh, is important, you know, and I think if we can all do that and ultimately we, we can only do it together, and I said that to them today, you know, it's about, it's about all of us, you know, helping each other, I'm not here, um, I'm here to help, I'm here to help them. You know, and, and hopefully they're here to help each other and that's something that we've maybe come away from a little bit but we need to get back together as a, as a group, as a squad and, and really be collective in our goals. You come to the Hive with a wealth of experience in particular at AFC Wimbledon we spent 14 years in the coaching role just tell us about your time there and what you can use from that time to bring here because that was obviously a sort of a different situation but that was Trying to get up through the league yeah. and build. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, I was I think I was 13, 14, 15 years first team coach. You know, six or seven promotions in that. So, lots of rebuilding. Certainly, you know, we used to rebuild teams regularly every year because we'd jump up a league. So then we'd rebuild. So that was that's something that I've got good um, experience with. Um, and obviously, coming through the leagues is is something that I've done. So. How that how that works and, and how that works here will be different in every club, but certainly getting everyone on side uh, is important. Certainly working towards a common goal is important. You know, and I said to today, selfless, not selfish. You know, it's not about you; it's about us as a team. So we need to work together, all of us, staff, players, supporters, uh, and for the common goal, and that's to get this football club back where it belongs.
in terms of the non-league structure and, and players, you seem to have a, a really good knowledge of players and what can work. Will that come into your mind in, in terms of recruitment for next year? Yeah, hopefully. You know, obviously, I've done a lot of recruitment stuff at Wimbledon. Um, I worked in the Championship at Millwall doing recruitment when I left Wimbledon and, and I've done a lot of League 2 stuff in terms of recruitment this year during the pandemic just to enable me to get to games really which has been which has been good so yeah just trying to keep abreast of across everything and, and your knowledge high for when the opportunity comes like this to, to you can be ready to go now you know there's it's a difficult period to recruit in and we're, we're running out of time so to speak with the window shutting in a week or so um, but yeah, that we'll be looking. We'll be trying to build, you know, maybe short term if we can. Uh, but certainly with a view to next season, and, and we'll be having people in regularly into training, and you know, hopefully we can maybe pick one or two up in that way. But yeah, going forward, uh, recruitment will be huge. Yeah. David obviously joined you at the club. Just tell us a bit about your relationship with him and what he'll bring. Yeah, obviously, uh, a wealth of experience. You know. Uh, Dave was the first manager I worked under when I became a coach and, and Dave took me down that path so to speak uh, and I'll be grateful for him for doing that and yeah listen a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of experience, a good guy, honest, loyal, you know everything that a, a man needs to stand beside him so I'm really pleased for him to be here. Yeah. Heading back into discussing the last 13 games that I believe it is, these players that are here are playing for their futures whether that's at this football club or at another football club professional contracts seem to be getting harder and harder to come by particularly at this level yeah absolutely you know obviously we where we find ourselves at the minute the, the way the one below this is part time so you know ultimately no one comes out of this with any credit so far you know um, and we need to start rebuilding that now. They've got 13 games to save potentially their careers, so to speak. Um, but at least, you know, put a bit, up a better, bit better fight of where we are at the moment. So that's something that we'll be working along the lines of. In terms of style, what can the Bees fans expect from your team? Well, I think ultimately short term, long term are two very different things. Uh, short term, we need to be hard to beat, you know. That's the that, that's start of it. You know, we've let, obviously let far too many goals in, not scored enough, which is a recipe of a disaster. But yeah, listen, we'll, we'll, go, we'll have to compete. You know, we got a Maidenhead away first game, and if you don't compete against Maidenhead and Alan Devonshire's teams, you're going to get beat. You know, so that's ultimately the base we're going to go off. We're going to be hard working. We're going to try and be honest and hard working and, and hard to beat. And, you know, we need to build the confidence back and that doesn't come overnight but if we can start building it in blocks as we go you know even breaking games into pieces and, and reaching targets of, of being in games because we've been out of games far too often so we need to be in games and that's where we're going to start with. Just lastly what would your message be to the Barnet fans? Well listen hopefully uh, we can bring some, some uh, joy to them short term this season um, and just get behind the team, you know, the, the team's uh, fragile, a little bit fragile at the minute, but you know, we're, we're looking to rebuild them and, and, and I can guarantee them we'll be doing everything we can to bring some pride back to them.